Hi Mono Amigos, uh, DJ Steel here again. Um, I'm still getting a few questions, which is understandable because of the whole uh, everything going on and switching to a lot of remote broadcasts about how and with the brand new system. Anyways, um, how to do some stuff. So, I've got an internet page open here. I'm going to show you first, now there's there's two types of remote broadcast. There is, you can program stuff right on the new LibreTime system. You can just put music in there. You could maybe record a podcast using whatever you want at home. Uh, Audacity is an option. There's a video on our how-to page about how to install Audacity as well as record in it. Um, Again, if you're installing Audacity now, that video is from, I don't know, five years ago at least. So, cosmetically, Audacity might be slightly different. But, essentially, it's going to be the same idea as what's in there. Um, same with, there's an old, Nat's been sending out an old airtime video. LibreTime is cosmetically just a little bit different from Airtime, so that should help, but I'll, I'll show you here as well. So, I have it right because it's in one of my top searches. If I just click this, it takes, you, takes me right to it, which is kind of a really cool opening page also. Hang on just one sec, let me turn down my music so that I can make sure that you're hearing me. Um, so now when you're do, if you don't have it on yours, you're going to want to just put here airtime.soundfm.ca and type it like that, okay? Then you hit this login button, top right up here, brings you to this. Everyone has, I sent out to everyone and entered them all in, a unique login. So what this allows you to do is update your show's time. So, oops. Our McKenna was my old one. I always type it in uh, wrong because I'm still thinking my old one. And then I would have sent you a new password too because it's a whole new system. You gotta have your name right and the password. You can't use the old one. It looks very similar to the other one, but it's actually a little bit nicer. So, in here, if you want to see all the shows and what's happening, cool, some audio boffins is playing. Um, here is our schedule. This is, these are all the shows. Uh, where's Mono A Mono? There it is, I want to point it out. Saturday nights, 8 till 10. Um, yeah. You would go to your show. If I go to my show, let me see, this is next week's show right here. And I could say schedule tracks. Oh, it's kind of off the screen. Hang on, let me move it up. Here's the next week's show right here, mano a mano. I click that, a little thing comes up, schedule tracks. I'm gonna click on that. Now. This shows all the tracks. I'll show you in a minute how, to, how you can upload songs. But let's suppose I want to play some Limb Lifter. I like Limb Lifter on here. I'm going to add all these songs to my show. It's that easy. Um, another super awesome band I think you all should check out is a band called I'm missing when I'm typing here. C A L Y E. There's Robot Apocalypse. They are so awesome. Super awesome. I'm going to add every single one of their songs. Now, sometimes if you look down here, there's more than one page of Robot Apocalypse. I'm going to go to page two and say, add all those songs. They're so good. Now, I'm getting close. So, see, I still am minus 28 minutes so I still have about a half hour that I haven't filled up I gotta think of another great band I'm gonna search wax mannequin no wax mannequin yet I, I I'm gonna fix that in a moment 
Um, let's see what else. Mounties. Nice. So I'm going to pick all these, add to my show. Now, this orange one here, it means that it's not going to quite play that full song. So it's going to get cut off at some point because then it's going to go into the show after me is Discoteca. So it's going to go into that uh, show. What we can do is see these two that aren't even being played. You can say trim over book shows. Yeah, you, you can trim them. There we go. You don't even need to do that. It won't play them anyway. And now my show, uh, down in the bottom corner, I'm just going to move my head for a second. Oh, it's kind of off the screen anyways. Let me, let me move that up. Down here is an OK button. I click OK, I've got all those in on the thing. On, so, so next week, my show is fully programmed with all those tracks now in it. Um, let me just move my head back here. So that's one way you can program. You can, uh, actually one thing I haven't showed you is over here right when you log in, you get something like this. You, you end up at this dashboard. This shows you what's playing now, Audio Boffins, another amazing band. I would check them out for sure. And then it shows you what's going to be coming up or what time slot it's in. Uh, here's what the next song that's coming up. That's what was previously played. So slightly different from the other one. Uh, what I think is super cool, it's there, not all of them are working, but it shows the album cover sometimes if it has an album cover associated with it. Um, if you want to upload a track, so I said, we need to remedy this No Wax Mannequin. I'm opening my, uh, this is my, uh, this is my computer. I have a music folder with a whole bunch of uh, MP3s from bands that if I buy the album, it sometimes gives you the MP3s. I'm gonna grab some Wax Mannequin and upload it. So you click this big upload button. All you gotta do is grab your MP3s or your songs. I would not suggest doing WAV files. WAV files are much bigger. So if you're on Bandcamp or something like that and it gives you the option to download an MP3 or a WAV, a WAV is a much bigger file. So I would do the MP3. Just drag and drop those there and look, they're all starting to upload. Now it'll say over here, uh, pending import. So it needs to, once they're uploaded, it needs to kind of sort them out and, and import them in. So here we go. This first one was successful. The second one was successful. These ones are coming in. This is a nice new feature about LibreTime that AirTime didn't do. Sometimes you would upload it in AirTime and it, it just wouldn't show up and you didn't know why. And uh, super tech people like Bob and Nat could go in and say, oh, the RTS, STTSHSS protocol zipped and flabbergasted. So they would know what happened, but we would have no idea. In here, it tells you, you can see right there. And I've got a couple special powers because I upload people, but I think that you'll be able to see it as well. Now, one issue, is right now we only have 61 gigabytes of uh, storage because the problem with the airtime computer was that the hard drive died. Um, so we're, we're working to remedy that because we are already almost at 40% used here. But, so all those songs are now on there. If I wanted to um, upload those tracks, I could, here they all are. Ooh, I'm gonna hover over that. So there they all are. We got all those wax mannequin tracks. Also, message from the queen. If you wanna check out some of these ones I just uploaded, message from the queen, the price, unbelievable. Unbelievable tracks right there. 
And then, it, let's suppose that's a podcast that you recorded. Now you just flip that onto your show like I just previously showed you, and you're set to go. To log out, you just click that log out button right there. If you have any questions, I can go over some other stuff. Some people are trying to do... So that is a remote broadcast. You can upload a podcast and it will sound like you're there live during your time. Another idea that you can do is if you go to Radio Waterloo, and uh, actually I'm going to put in how to remote broadcast. We've got on here. the settings and an image, some images for mix. I even made a couple, so this is how-to-remote-broadcast slash. Um, I made a few videos with mix. I tried in installing this program called Mix and it looked super scary when I started. It is pretty awesome now. I. Now I listen to even my music. I don't even have iTunes playing anymore. I ha I showed in the one video how to how to just find your iTunes music. It just magically finds it somehow. Um, but I listen to it all in here. It is so awesome this program, and it will automatically if you enable the auto DJ, which is also in the last um, video, do that as well. One additional thing I want to show you is. If you have, in my music folder here, I have uh, somewhere this thing called Mam Sting. So all it says is it's, a sting is something like you're listening to Mono a Mono. Uh, if you drag this, if you find one or create one and drag it into this area right here. So if you don't see that area, it's the samplers button. If you click that samplers button, there it is. Now, during this quiet part in the song, maybe I'll quiet it down a little bit, and I'm gonna click this button. You're listening to Mono and Mono on CKMS. And then increase it again. You can have a couple quick little stings. I don't know if you heard that. Let me try turning up the desktop audio. You're listening to Mono Mono on CKMS. Pretty sweet, huh? So you can have a couple things in buttons that you can just click and it'll just play. Um, and if you watch the other videos, I go through a whole bunch more stuff. If you want to connect, this little satellite here helps you connect. To get into the settings, you just go Preferences, it opens up this screen. You go to live broadcasting. And my settings are slightly different. I have to have it slightly different just because I've got a special access. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in. Let me see if I can open a new tab here. So all I did was I right clicked on this image and said open image and new tab. And then here are all the settings you want to do. So instead of login nap per sad, you're going to put um, your stuff. So for me, I would put Rob McKenna. For you, you would put first name, last name, uh, or whatever I sent you. The first couple I didn't follow that first name, last name thing. So if you're one of those people, then uh, you would put whatever I sent you. Uh, if you want it as first name, last name, let me know and we can change it. And then the password that you have. So it might be the password I set up for you, but you should actually go in and change that. Although I set up about almost a hundred users that one day, so I probably don't have, I have no idea what your password would be. So anyways, but you should still go in and change it to something you like. Hopefully that helps. Um, so two ways there. When they say remote broadcast and you say I can't rem remote broadcast, that's what they're going to kind of start asking. Well, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to log into the LibreTime 
and upload a show? Or are you actually trying to do a live remote broadcast? Uh, and if you are trying to do a live remote broadcast, I would watch some of those other mix tutorials because the first mix tutorial is just me installing. The second one is after I've used the program for a half hour or an hour and I go through some of the features. This is just an extra little cool thing I found out right now that uh, Bob told me. It turned down your audio a little bit. You're listening to Water on CKMS. Pretty cool. Super cool. Anyways, hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're figuring things out in this uh, time of remote broadcasting. And uh, I think any learning we do now will just help us in the future. Because now that we've got this system going, I think we're going to be able to go with it. And more and more shows might be able to do some type of remote broadcast like this. So. Questions, message, office at radiowaterloo.ca. I've been trying to help people out as best I can. Some people I have to push on to Nat and Bob because I don't know exactly what uh, you're talking about or different softwares, but I'll try and help as best I can. All right, thanks.